Hi parents, good evening. This is just a little video that I'm doing just to show you how and if you have encountered problems logging into Canvas. Um, and also a little trick if you have two or more um, students in the same school that need to use the computers. Um, some, I know some of you guys have seen that uh, if you log into Clever with one of your children and then you go into Canvas, sometimes you're going to get this pop out, which is an error. You see the parent student trouble logging in error. Um, some of you guys will click on Canvas and you will see your other child's um, Canvas pop up and not the one that you, the student that is logged in. So let me show you what you can do, the steps, and also a trick. So when you log into Clever, as I am, this is my page, right? You click on Canvas, and it usually will lead you to, as you can see, this is my Canvas, right? Um, and then you're gonna have your other child, um, who's also, hey, it's my turn now, so they're gonna come here and sometimes log out, right? And log in, and sometimes when you log in, you're gonna see, um, either the other kid's name, or it will just log into Clever again to the, your other child's account, or it might do this. So I'm gonna act like if I'm logging in my son, my little one, I'm gonna log him in, and let's see. So this should be his Clever. I'm sorry, his Canvas. So when I click Canvas, as you can see here, it's my canvas, not his. So I'm here, it says Kayla Brazza. And if I delete this one and I go, wait a minute, let me click on canvas again, it's mine. So this is something more likely some of you have encountered. Are you, you know, you see your other sons, um, one of your kids' names, but the dashboard is the other kids. So what you have to do is log out of it completely. So right here, you'll, you'll see an account, and here you will see a logout. So you must log them out of the whole account. Then I click over and let's see if it works. Because <laughs> sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. There it is. So now it's giving me Caleb. So I would do this, and of course I will give him his password. And now is his dashboard. Another thing you guys might see too, is you see right here, is the C for Caleb. This sometimes doesn't change. Sometimes uh, you log into your, you know, to somebody else's, and you still see here somebody else's name. So in this one, let's say you logged in, let's say this is Caleb's, but here it says my name. What you guys have to do is like I did, click here and also press sign out. And that would automatically sign out the person's uh, page. So now, right now, Caleb is not signed in anymore. So there's no current user, okay? So those are little uh, things that you guys can check that because um, sometimes you'll see like a student's name, like your other kids' names, or even you. Because maybe you have your, you know, you don't, you're like, hey, I only have one child, it's just me and my child. But guess what? You, sometimes you use your computer, most of us use Google, and that's what happens. We have two things going on, you have to log yourself out, you have to log yourself in. So this is something that you guys need to uh, check out, like when I say, hey, go to your um, Clever, and go into Canvas, which is of course right here, so you can log in, okay? Um, that's what I need you, and then sometimes, like I said, you guys get this error, that's because you haven't been logged out completely. So like I said, you can go to here, dashboard, log out, you know, check that is that, that student or you, whoever it is, logs out, okay? And then make sure Clever is also logged out. Um, then now let me give you another little trick. So I'm gonna go to mine. Okay, so I'm going to go to mine. And let's 
and I'm going to go to my canvas and you see here I still have Caleb's canvas so what do I have to do I have to go here log him out and then I go back to mine bring in my password okay and now I can go back to my canvas and now it is my canvas so you see that I had to log him out of canvas right here remember accounts and log out sometimes you'll see the uh, the cute kids will be accounts and the log out will be down here okay so now let's say your sons you have two kids and like I do I have my two boys and I have one computer both of them need to use it and you don't want them to go okay now you log out here did you make sure you log that from the your dashboard you make sure you lock that from clever you make sure and it's a lot um so what i actually have them do is this so let's say this is me or caleb or my other son jonah and i have one of them already here what i can do is i can do an incognito window an incognito window basically is is the same window you see here but they will have to lock themselves in and you don't have to log out do anything like that so let me show you how to do it so right here this is all my page you can see all my dashboards right here all of them right here now I'm gonna go here to the uh, Google icon and I'm going to right click this Google icon and as you can see here new incognito window this is the one I want I don't want this one I don't want to make a new window you make a new window it's gonna be the same thing you need a new incognito window and that's what you're going to press and as you can see here now is a black window but as you can see here all of my same things are there scholastics everything is here so now what I do is now I can go to clever so if you go to clever right and you go log in as a student let me actually yeah and then so we type our school if we need to type out our school Pembroke Pines Charter and you can see East Campus right here now I can log in so now I enter my other son's email address and his password and right now now I'm in his clever so now I'm in his clever now I can go to canvas and now it's just his canvas. So I don't need to go, oh, it's somebody else's. Let me log out. Let me press here. No, it's just his stuff. So he can go back to portal. He can go back to canvas and he can do iReady. He can do reflex. He can do all of these and all the ones that he, pop, everything that pops out will be his. So I didn't need to delete anything. I didn't need to, you know, lock him out of anything. It's just like that. So now if I make this one smaller, here's my stuff. So if you have two students or two kids that have the same school or even three, you know, you have one of them use the main one and then the other one can use the incognito. Now, let's say you have three kids because there are some of you who have three kids in the same school, one computer. Oh my God, what do I do? Well, have that one student in the main one right when you go in have one but in the incognito what you can do is let's say one of your kids is working on it so okay you okay you finished working on it okay great you just X out this whole page and then you can do another incognito so press another incognito again and then go back to it because guess what it clears everything your child is not going to stay in this server at, at all they, it was just goes, it goes back to blank so you have to go back to clever and do it all over again so your child is not going to be here you see how you have to search for the school now if you have them how you see how I have my bookmarks all of these are my bookmarks if you have bookmarks in your one right here as you can see they're the same ones You'll have your bookmarks in the incognito. So if you have a clever, like right here, a bookmark clever already here in the other one, see how I have mine? It's going to be there. 
So what you can do is just go to your Clever, and guess what? Pamela Pine Starter comes out. So then you just log in again, and you go, okay, my third child is this one. Okay, so then my third child now can come in here, and uh, I actually forgot my other child's password, so I cannot put it on. Um, but then you just add the password, press next, and boom, you're back to everything that is the, your other child's work. So that's another one. Now, let's say here you have, oh, I don't use um, Google Chrome or Google. I use Firefox if you have an, um Mac, because some of you guys don't have PCs. Some of you have Mac iPad, I mean, um, Mac computers, Apple computers. So what you do here, and if you have Firefox, when you go here, it's going to call a new, a private window. So you're going to see private window, and that's the one that you want to click on. So you might not see incognito window, but it says private, and it's the same thing as incognito. You press it, and it just pops up. So if I press here, there's my incognito. So I hope, parents, this helps you. Like I said, that is the best way. I love doing the incognito because I don't have to log myself out. I don't have to log my other child out and log him back in and seeing these things. So if you get this, it is because you did not log all the way out. There's still a user, as it says here, when you log, when users can log in at home, it's because they are logged into another Gmail account and will get this message. So this is why you're getting that message. Okay, it's not because you cannot log into uh, Canvas, it's because somebody's already logged into Gmail. So please, if you can do that, it's better to just go in new incognito window and then log your child into Clever and then into Canvas. And now parents, like I said, please, uh, I have some parents still that have not logged in. Um, please, 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 if you can, hopefully this video will help you. Those parents that have emailed me saying that they're getting the error message, more likely is that error message. If you can please follow this video and then go into Canvas. And all I need you to do is look up for my dashboard, which of course you will see here, Miss Rasa's virtual class. All you need to do is look at my back dashboard, go into it and just look around. There's no assignments. There's nothing. I just want you to look around because what I go into, I go here to people. This is, of course, mine. And I can see who just logged in. And that's what I need. As you can see, there's some that are still haven't logged in. And that's what I need. I need everybody 100%. So on Monday, when we start our online virtual learning, you know, you guys are not scrambling going, oh, my goodness, I can't log in. What's going on? This is, uh, this is why. So we can do it this early. So please, please, if you can please log in, like I said, either you are logging out all the way, or like I said, the best thing you can do is right click new incognito window and log your child in. Thank you so much. I hope this helps you guys a lot. Please, please, please. Yes, please log in. Thank you guys.